Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to look at White Room by Cream. Because we're doing the cream track, I thought we should quickly go over the tonality of my guitar. Um, what I've done is I've switched to the neck pickup, and because of the solos and the way a lot of their songs used to sound, I've rolled off some of the tone to get a more kind of fuzzy, less defined sound. <laughs> Bear in mind for the introduction, I'll be using the bridge pickup to get a nice uh, defined introduction. So let's have a look at the introduction. The first chord we're going to do is going to be a G minor bar chord. Remember, we're going to be in standard E tuning, so make sure we're in that. We're going to be using our G minor bar chord on the A string root, so we're going to have be on the tenth fret. Then we're going to go down to an F major chord, then down to a D minor chord, and then a C major chord. Because of so many strange octaves, high and low, you could use the triads if you have more than one guitar player. Or if you want to go low, there's many different options to choose from, but I prefer doing the physically descending line on the A string. So for this part, we're actually going to be in 5 4, so try and count along with me. this is going to be an A minor chord and this will lead us into the verse. chord, we're going to hit our A and D strings open along with the 5 chord itself. After we play this we're going to bring in our middle finger on the C note and take away our index finger. Just make that C sus sound. After this the next chord is going to be moving down that bass note for a G over B. And then after that we're going to go to a B flat, to a C, and then we start the progression over again. It sounds like this. Rhythmically, the song includes two downstrokes, then an upstroke as a lead-in to the next chord. I'll do that again. Same again to the B flat to the C. Yeah. 
So now I've got to the chorus section of the song. There's lots of embellishments and wah pedal going in the background, but here's the bare bones of it. It starts on a C chord, it then goes to a G chord, to a B flat 5, to an A, the same progression again, and then when we get to the B flat, we're going to hit eighth notes. And slide up to a C5 chord and finish on a D major chord. So at this point we've gone to the uh, Eric Clapton guitar solo. It's a very iconic solo and every version I've heard of it he seems to do it differently. We're going to be in D minor and we're going to be pentatonic pattern 1. Make sure you've got your wah pedal. I've done my own version of it so uh, take what you can from that and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,